Hi everybody, it's Kelly Russell, the Rock Your Joy Coach. Thank you so much for being with me today and welcome to my channel. So my topic for this week is anxiety. And you know, I know, right? Your palms are sweating already. You're, you're like, heart's pounding. <laughs> Starting to like take shallow breaths. Everybody bust out your paper bag because this is what we're diving into today. And I can tell you that uh, my credibility around talking about anxiety is I've been on three sides of it. I have been on the side of anxiety w where I'm a psychotherapist and I work with people in that practice every day, helping them to overcome it. I have been in the position of being, having anxiety myself and for many years and and undiagnosed um, I, I wasn't a therapist at the time i didn't know enough to think of it as anxiety but i certainly experienced it that way uh, over a lot of things and then ha later being educated about it and learning how to treat it could look back and say oh man i i freaking had anxiety for a long time and then in being able to be healed from it through my work in A Course in Miracles and being able to be on that other, other side of it, of, of not having it anymore. And that if I do have flare ups of it, as we all do, that's not necessarily a diagnosable disorder, but just being you know, having moments of it that I am so much more well equipped now and I know what to do about it and I and, and I can teach people how to heal their anxiety. And it's 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 I'm teaching people how to heal their anxiety, but I'm teaching them by using a course in miracles, which is really basically the greatest the greatest you know, physician of all time, Jesus, the voice of a course in miracles teaching us how to use that particular psychology, that spiritual thought system that heals us from everything, all of our incorrect perceptions. And that's really what anxiety is based in. Anxiety is a particular form of fear centered around the future, often catastrophic, um, you know, manifestations of what are going to happen, what the worst case scenarios are that are that are going to show up in our lives, how something that is happening now is going to play itself out, or also centered in the past around things that already happened in this, you know, illusory world that we have, but that's very real to us. And so things that went down that still have their hooks in us, and cause us to then be again afraid of them reoccurring in the future. And so anxiety is always about fear of the future and often connected how the past is going to play itself out in the future. And it can be debilitating. It can, you know, there are people that have such anxiety, such powerful anxiety that they, they can't drive or they can't go over bridges or they can't go outside of their home or they're in constant fear of s some kind of sickness happening to the body or they're in fear of being in relationships or they're paranoid about you know that which is just a way of saying irrationally fearful around anything that could be happening it takes all it has all kinds of manifestations but the truth of it is, is that it is it is just fear, and like everything else that the Course in Miracles teaches us, it is it has its roots in our unconscious guilt. You know that we are always operating from this sense of underlying guilt, this sense of something's something's wrong with us. We've done something wrong somewhere. It causes us to think that. We're not worthy, we're not good enough, that somehow we're going to be found out, we're going to be held accountable for that, we're going to be punished for it, or there's going to be some kind of painful 
consequence as a result of us being so guilty and we don't know why we're guilty. We just have this sense that we probably are. And when you are a Course in Miracles student and you and you start to study it and, and understand why we all have this unconscious guilt, it's because we believed that we are separate from our Creator. We believe not only that we are separate, but that we willfully separated, we willfully rejected the greatest love and the only love that we have ever had or will ever have. You know, any love that we feel in the world is just, just the love of the Creator flowing through that being and toward us. So so it's the source of our love. So, so feeling like we have become separate from our source of love, it is like, it is like, um, feeling like the sun has gone out, you know, that the sun has disappeared and that we no longer are able to see anything or feel the warmth uh, or be able to survive, right? Except times about a bazillion, all right? That's the impact on our, on our, our psyches. And, and it's the story that our ego minds are, are is telling us. It's fictitious it is it is the worst kind of horrifying fiction but when you when you bought into it and you think it's really real then it's going to be real for you and so that is where this sense of foreboding this sense of dread and doom and this and this thing that we that we all feel on some level it manifests itself differently with different people and in different ways and some people feel it more strongly than others and it plays itself out in whatever way that it plays itself out in our lives. And so when it plays out in anxiety, this is this is what happens. And we just have this sense that something bad is gonna happen. We have the sense that we have to worry about everything. People tell me about, and I and I experienced it myself about not being able to sleep at night and, and just being kept awake by these racing thoughts. And these scenarios that would play out, you know, having one thought and that thought leads to another thought and that leads to another thought. And before you know it, you have this whole story and it's all made up and it hasn't happened. And often it doesn't happen. The percentage of our worry thoughts and our catastrophic scenarios that we play out that actually really happen is super minimal. But that doesn't that doesn't save us from suffering in the moment when we're when we're in the grip of them, right? And so, so I created a, 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 a I, I created a package that I'm going to tell you about that has several tools in it that come from a course in miracles that can that really kind of crystallize a, a way of helping yourself with anxiety and using these tools and practices and these ideas um, to really change your thinking around it. But I want to share with you uh, one of the lessons from A Course in Miracles that I found the most helpful, uh, that I find the most helpful, and I, I use it It's a go-to that I use still in um, when I experience, you know, bouts of anxiety now. And it's just, it is, it, it, it's an elixir. <laughs> and it is lesson 34. And it's, I could see peace instead of this. All right. And so that seems so simple, right? You know, well, I could just see peace instead of this. But we don't. We don't let ourselves see peace instead of this. Instead, we get all wrapped around the axle, dragged all over the face of creation, playing out all these you know, crazy fears and, and, you know, how one thing's going to lead to another, lead to another. And literally you wind up with this totally scary thought that has you, you know, having lost everything in your life. No one loves you. You're completely alone. All your possessions are gone. Your money's all disappeared. You're pushing a shopping cart around and that's your life. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it, it is irrational, but it, we don't experience it as irrational at the time that we're feeling it. And so it just feels like this horrible sense of, as I said, dread and foreboding and 
fear and and worst case scenario because that's what the ego will do is it'll it'll put the worst case scenario up in front of our grill as being the most somehow the most likely thing that is going to happen instead of no the most likely thing that is going to happen is not the most catastrophic it is not the worst case scenario but we don't know that unless we remind ourselves of it so this lesson is so amazing I could see peace instead of this. So I just want to share a couple parts of it with you. So lesson 34, it says peace of mind is clearly an internal matter. It must begin with your own thoughts and then extend outward. It is from your peace of mind that a peaceful perception of the world arises. So it's not about doing stuff in the world. It's not about fixing stuff in the world. It's not about waiting for the world to not be a fucking scary place before you decide that you don't have to be anxious. It's actually seeing peace in your mind, reminding yourself, I could see peace at any time instead of whatever this thing here is that I appear to be seeing. It says, it's talking about doing this practice during the day for several times during the day. And one of and, and part of what it says to do in the practice period is search your mind for fear thoughts, anxiety provoking situations, offending personalities or events, or anything else about which you're harboring unloving thoughts. Note them all casually, repeating the idea for today slowly as you watch them arise in your mind and let each one go to be replaced by the next. And the whole time that you're doing this, you're saying to yourself, I could see peace instead of this. And this is great because even if you're not practicing this lesson as like your Course in Miracles workbook lesson of the day, this is just such a go-to. And I use it all the time. If I am, if I am all upset about something and I'm all worked up or I'm pissed off or I'm I'm afraid I'm freaking out I'm you know having or maybe all the above at the same time being able to come to that remind myself like you know Kelly you could keep on going down this rabbit hole you know all day you could wreck your whole buzz you could do this whole thing and you could have a completely shitty day or you could see peace instead of this. And just those words, I could see peace instead of this. Just saying them is, it, it introduces a whole other paradigm, like a whole other window opens up in your mind. I could see peace instead of this. And how could I see peace instead of this? And this is where we're, we're, we're opening a portal for spirit to come in and show us how we could see peace instead of this. And instead of having our focus and our, our, you know, our laser vision being centered on the situation and, and all of the stuff that could go wrong with it or all of the fear that we have around it and the, and the negative consequences and the, the, the catastrophic outcomes, we could just see peace instead of this. And when you do that, there's just this amazing... Oh, it's like, it's like a, the breath of God just settles on you and your heart opens and that light just overtakes you and you can, you can see that there is another way of looking at things, which is always what spirit is going to do. Spirit is going to take whatever the ego makes up and transform it into something that is based in love and reminds us of the truth of who we are and who our brothers are and what our reality with a capital R really is. So as I mentioned before, I created a kit of three different tools. It's called the Anxiety Makeover Swag Bag, um, Transform Worry Lines to Pete's Signs. And it includes a mini ebook, which is entitled, You're Not Good Enough, You're Perfect, Healing Your Bullshit Beliefs. It has a podcast in it called Fear is a Major Buzzkill 
Forgiveness is the Elixir, which is um, a podcast of me telling my story about my journey in healing anxiety. And there's a guided meditation um, recorded by me uh, called Dissolving Anxiety in Liquid Light. And so uh, it's a free kit and I invite you to click the link below and go ahead and just download it and put it into practice. It can really be um, a, a game changer for you in terms of using the principles of A Course in Miracles in the way that I have incorporated them in this toolkit to be able to just bring yourself back to a sense of calm and peace and center, centeredness. And that when you utilize that tool of lesson 34, I could see peace instead of this. When you practice the kind of forgiveness that I talk about in in this, this toolkit, when you use the meditation, when you shift your perception from fear to love, when you change the way that you're thinking, you change where you've located yourself and you've placed yourself in the light of love as opposed to in stumbling around in the darkness of fear. So that's my message for you today. I hope that the, that the tools in the kit are helpful to you and that this lesson, I hope that you will allow yourself the gift of practicing it and feeling those, just those life-changing benefits. So thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want, a, a deeper dive of a companion in helping yourself to live A Course in Miracles. Remember that that's what I do. That is my jam, that, that as a coach of A Course in Miracles, I help people to transform their relationships with each other, with themselves, and with God so that they can have the lives, that they that the love in their lives that they want to have. So remember that too. And if that's something you want to explore, then there's a link below for you to click on and book a free discovery call, which is a, it's a, it's essentially a coaching session can help you determine whether I am somebody that you might want to work with in private coaching. And I can um, go over the packages that I offer with you and so forth. So again, I'm so glad you were here today in this anxiety 101 and how to heal it class. And I look forward to seeing you next week. I love you.